All right. You're in charge. Wait. Where's Jeff at? You're in charge. It might die. <laughs> oh, we're live now. All right. We're live, baby. I'll go out here. Alright guys, I'm just going to start talking now. I know everybody's kind of scattered around the campground right now. Uh, if you're out there and you don't want to get up and drink a beer, that's totally fine. You don't have to. <laughs> but if you want to come here in front of the stage, we have about... What time is it? We have about 45 minutes left on the raffle. So if you guys can hear me right now, we have 45 minutes left on the raffle, which is insane to me because this has consumed not just the last six months of my life, but the last year and a half of my life starting with of course jared weems and his triumph giveaway and then going to road king kong and now here with this low rider s with the 131. And when i say it's consumed the last year and a half of my life it's done it in an absolutely amazing way it's changed my life in ways that i cannot even been, begin to describe but i will because i've made of nothing but words and i got one or two or three for every single occasion <laughs> so don't you worry about that one man i can go rambling speed at the drop of a hat we're going to save all them pretty words for later, though. If you're out there right now and you haven't bought a ticket and you would like to, now's the time. If you want to buy a ticket for this, this is why I invite everybody here. This is why I tell people to come to Forgotten Angels. This is why I say you ain't got to take my word for it. You can walk around this property. You can see. You can meet the young men who are here. It's all good. You can meet the young men who are here. You can see the homes that they live in. You can hear their stories. I know a lot of you have. Some of you haven't, like me. You've been too busy partying, and that's okay, too. <laughs> I already know what's going on here. You know, you ain't gotta, If you already took me out of my word, you can just party. You ain't got to meet nobody. <laughs> just come on and do your thing, man. If you want to see for yourself, this is the place you see it. That's the bike that we're doing this for. And, yeah, it's a $25 raffle ticket. Yeah, you're taking a chance. But you can see exactly where your money's going, and you know that it's going to a good place. You know that it's going to a good cause. You've met David. Almost everybody here has met David at this point. You've met Shelby. You've met Cindy. You've seen their house. You've seen his motorcycle. Some of you guys have ridden some of his motorcycles. Some of you guys have used his bathroom and his shower, which he invites people into his house to do. You see the, the, the you see how everybody lives out here. Nobody's driving around gold Mercedes at this place. There's one place where this money is going, and that's to enrich the lives of the people who you see in front of you and hopefully bring that to a lot more people. Now, the reason we're live streaming this right now and I'm talking and making everybody get up off their ass, come out here and drink a beer, is that now we got what? Rambling speed, like 30 minutes left? I could go, I could go the whole time and let some other people speak too. <laughs> 44 minutes. <laughs> 44 minutes left. We are $4,000 away from $400,000. If you're going to share it <laughs> in the next 40 minutes and turn that three into a four, now is the time. If you have an extra 25 bucks to buy a raffle ticket because you win the bike, sure. <laughs> Are you probably going to? Well, it's I think it's like a one in 4,000 chance right now. It's not bad. There's worse odds than a scratch off to win 20 bucks. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not bad odds, guys. Uh, and speaking of that also, uh, and can I talk about the goal wing now? So here's the thing, this is a no purchase necessary, so even if you didn't buy a raffle ticket, and the reason that this event is free, the reason that you can have free beer and free food is because it's an all, we want everyone to be able to come here. I don't want anyone to be left outside because they don't have enough money to get here. They don't have enough money to buy beer. If all you have is enough money to get your gas tank and get down here, we got the rest. And David and I were talking about that and how important that aspect of this is to us. And you guys who watch the channel might have seen that gold wing in there. Shelby just finished fixing it all up. Uh, that gold wing is getting given away to someone here. Yes. Oh, wow. Today. It's happening today. I don't know exactly how we're going to do that. I think I'm just going to throw a dart off the stage and whoever's eyeball sticks into gets the bike. <laughs> oh, well, David has a plan for that. <laughs> of course he does. That is uh, no purchase necessary. You do not have need to have bought a raffle ticket all you need to do is stand here today and 
get a raffle ticket from David, whoever, whoever ends up having them, and you're entered to win that bike. That's for free because we care about making this free. We care about making it inclusive because why would we ever exclude somebody? Why would we ever put up this some sort of gatekeeping device to keep people out? There's not a paywall to be here because what we're doing is we're taking people who already live behind a paywall for, for, the, for their life. They never got the start they were supposed to get in life because they, they've never got the chance. They never had the money to do so. And all of us with an extra 25 bucks to buy a raffle ticket, that's where your $25 is going. It's going to help somebody else. Buy another, if you can, buy another ticket. If you can't, don't worry about it. I really want to see that number hit $400,000. I know everybody here does wants to see it as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody wants to see it. Uh, I know how much this event means to me. I know how much all you guys mean to me. There's so many people out there right now who are I've seen every single year that I saw, the, that I met, that I shook their hand for the first time at when we gave away Jared's bike, when we gave away the Triumph. That's when I saw you there. Then I saw you when we gave away the Road King. And I just shook your hand this time and I go, God damn, dude. Third time's a charm. <laughs> we have my $2,500 to $400,000. $550 more. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was going to have to try harder than that. <laughs> you know what I always say? I thought I was going to have to try harder than that. I guess I didn't because I believe in the good nature of man. If you guys have seen my camera lying around anywhere, you'll see I leave it on any flat surface in front of me because I don't really think about it because I exist, <laughs> I exist within the grace of the good nature of man. I truly believe that man is good and everybody standing around here is proof positive of that. There might be a lot of bad things in the world, but we know we can come together and we can do something good. And it feels really, really good, even though we are kind of bad people. <laughs> that's all right. So that's all of y'all. So thank you. Five hundred more dollars. I think we can do that. I love that. So uh, no, I, I, I need her. Jess, you're up. What? I'll come up here and say some words. Cause this is now Jess's favorite event too. Okay, well that was anti-climax. We did four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Got a half hour left. Let's go for five. Say a few words. I asked her, I'm going to make Amanda come up here and say a few words, too. She goes, I don't know what to say. I was like, I never walk up here with a plan on what to say. I just say what I'm feeling. <laughs> but I got so many emotions and so many feelings. It's just easy for me. This is now her, and not from her mouth, her favorite event, her favorite motorcycle event. Anywhere. It was anywhere, right? <laughs> this is her two wheels. A lot of you guys know her. An incredible friend of mine. Uh, you look beyond all the all the little screens, all the YouTube, all the content creators, all that bull crap. This is a true blue, one of my best friends in the world. And don't let anybody think anything different about that. We love you, girl. Now, now say something. Make him cry. <laughs> Josh just invited me up here. You're probably going to have a few more people to come up and say hello, but I just want to say thank you to every single person that has personally come up to me and say, like, you're the reason I'm riding, you're the reason I'm camping, you're the reason I'm here today, because for me and, like, seeing everything that these guys do, I feel like I, I just come along, I have fun, and I party. That's kind of the whole synopsis of my channel. <laughs> We're just here having a good time, so... Thank you guys so much for coming out and giving me your stickers. I have stickers. If you want a sticker, come up and find me. And so, yeah, that's it. Thank you, guys. We did it. 400000 400000 I love it. And that's the crux of everything. And that's what feels really good. Because let me tell you what, when it comes to doing the right thing, when it comes with a nice cold beer, it makes Yay! it a whole hell of a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what I always say. People say, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm like, man, all I did was come here and party. And that's all y'all had to do as well. So it's being good is not that hard. <laughs> and it feels pretty good, too. Amanda's here, too. You guys know Amanda? <laughs> I know a lot of y'all know Amanda. How far, how far did you ride again? 3,500 miles she rode to be here. Make sure you introduce your channel for everyone who doesn't know it, but also an incredible friend of mine who I just met in person in California about, what, like four or five months ago? Yeah. Ended off like gangbusters. I, she didn't want to come up here and say nothing. I was like, you've got to. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, beautiful people. If you don't know me, my name is Amanda Zitto. I have my channel is called As the Magpie Flies. I make motorcycle travel vlogs, motorcycle camping, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the dang thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and for me, like most of the reason to come out and do things is for the ride, not necessarily the event, but y'all make this event more than worth the ride to come out here. 
I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I cry all the time. I cried three or four times this morning, mostly in pain. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody who come, has come up to me and told me their story. God, y'all, y'all make it possible for me to do this and make it worth it. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Thank you. We got it. We got it. We got it here. Beth, get up here. All right. <laughs> And a lot of you guys know Biker Bay Beth, and she, this is her third, uh, were you at all of them? I'm at everyone. Her third one here. Me. Biker Bay Beth. You can't get All the way from me. Ohio. Her third event. You think you're going to get away without saying a few words? I was trying. Four, five, six, or seven. Let me tell you what, if there's one person who can talk more than I can, <laughs> it's your girl right here. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for coming out, everybody. I have came to every single one of these, and every single time I feel so much love from every person here. Thank you for coming up to me and saying hi. If you haven't yet and you'd like to, come say hi to me, similar to Jess. I have stickers and I love each and every one of you people hi, here. Hi guys, hi, thanks for coming. I love you guys. Yeah. I'll see you at the next one, guys. I'll be here. Come say hi. Yes. Almost, almost didn't make it, dude. You know, she wrote, uh, came down the first time and almost didn't make it the second time, almost didn't make it this time. It's been a freaking just a tear. What happened to the microphone? <laughs> uh, speaking of, like I always, like I always tell you guys, you know, there's some people who look at the YouTube thing and how we make videos, and you know, I only ever started making videos to have a good time and to meet lots of people who also like to have a good time. All I've ever shown is what I do. Uh, there's not a whole lot of smoke and mirrors. Maybe a little bit, you know. Maybe we put it on a little harder. Maybe we have a little more fun. But I like having fun, and one of the things that's really important to me is the other people that I've met through this, who are my real, true blue, real life friends, and one of those. Friends that I got to meet for the very first time also last year is uh, my man Adam Sandoval. Who at the last minute goes like, there's no way I'm missing this event. And he Stubborn came down America. here and did it. So come on up, man. I'm going to make you talk too. Stubborn country, baby! America! Well, thank you, Shay Tree. I got to say, after watching your videos for years and then meeting you in person, I, it's unbelievable to me how, uh, how genuine you are and how amazing you are. So that's, no, bro. I, no, I like you, man. You're you're amazing. Uh, America. Listen, America's right, baby. Stubborn Americans is kind of one of my one of my things. I coined a phrase that says, "If you did not serve in the military, which I did not, you find time to serve those who did." And that's what my channel and that's what my life is about. Yeah. That's right. So uh, I've got a little campground on the other side of the uh, country in Moyers, Oklahoma, where veterans stay free seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, yeah, Moyers, Oklahoma, and it's called the K River. We're down in the river. We have a good time out there. But more importantly, I want to talk a little bit about motorcycles. Uh, I love motorcycles. Uh, those of you who don't know me, I've done uh, some good traveling on motorcycles around the country and really enjoyed it. Uh, but I got to say, even more than riding the roads, it's the people, it's the community uh, that really makes motorcycling so special to me in my heart. And while most of my uh, charity is revolved around veterans i'm very honored to be here part of this uh drive that we're doing here with shade tree and the forgotten angels what they're doing is so important and you know they said some things to me over the last you know day here that that really have struck home with me like you know when i moved out i didn't have uh you know the knowledge i needed to be successful but i had a support network to stand behind me and this is something they told me i'm not trying to claim that i came up with this but it stuck with me these young men and hopefully future women uh, don't have that sport network. And there is not a better sport network in the world than the motorcycle network. Yeah! You know what I mean? So to have you all here and have you all supporting them and showing them it's okay to have a good time and still be responsible, still take care of business, uh, is, is really important. And I, I, can't, I can't thank you all enough for being part of this. I'm excited to be part of it. I'm gonna support you moving forward. You know, I always like to meet someone before I go too heavy in supporting them. And now that I've met you, I can say 100%, I am going to push forward for you uh, year yeah! and year to come. So what you're doing is amazing. Hopefully we raise a bunch of uh, amazing people. And uh, on behalf of my campground, the K River Campground, I'd like to donate $500 to your cause and say, you know, thank you very much. We appreciate you and what you're doing out here. And uh, God bless y'all. Enjoy the riding. Man, that was really good. You practice that in the mirror at home or what? <laughs> you found someone that can cut more than you. Oh, 
Oh my God, dude! I, every single person I asked to come up here, guess what? They were they were having a beer and talking to someone else. I was like, "Get your key steering gear. It's time to jerk some tears out of these people's eyes." All right, but uh, at least we got at least we got some out of Amanda. <laughs> uh, as as I as I was saying before, it's a it's a it's all of us doing it together. Like Adam just put it perfectly. This is the community of motorcyclists, the community of bikers. This is everybody coming together. This is people saying that. You know, you might have gotten assigned a family when you were born. That might be your family, but you get to pick your family. You know, and here we are, and we all we all we all look weird and different, and some of us smell real bad. But this is the family we picked, and we get to invite all these young men into it as well. So, pat yourself on the back because all y'all are the reason that we're here and the reason that we're able to do this. Thank you so much. Hey, John. Four hundred grand. Four hundred more. Four hundred one thousand dollars. I'm I'm drinking a beer now. Thank you so much. It's beer 30, baby. Real, real quick, um, David. I, I pointed out a few of our, of our young men. This one here was a little bastard troublemaker. Hey. <laughs> how, how's, that a way, how, how's that a way to start an introduction? I, I'm kidding. He struggled. He quit. He jumped back in the game. This young man graduated from high school. Okay, amongst odds that you guys have no idea how difficult his life has been and the struggles he's had to go through to make it. And he hasn't given up and I am honored and uh, amazed by the things that he's done and the young man that he's become. Uh, Steven has a 401k. <laughs> when, you, when you get a chance, uh, talk to him. Call him over and ask him a little bit of his story. He'll tell you some of the struggles he's been through and the challenges that he's had to overcome to, to make it here today. Um, Andre, right there, he's gonna be singing to us tonight. Raise your hand, Andre. Put your hand up, Andre. Andre's doing karaoke tonight. Andre's doing karaoke tonight. Uh, Andre got himself booted off the property. He, yeah, he did. To his credit, Andre worked his way back. Has a job, that big T there, it doesn't stand for Time out, it stands for T-Mobile. He now works for T-Mobile, is doing well, has a truck, has his own tiny home, and a future. And it's all because of what you guys do. We're able to feed into these young lives and, and to try and do the best that we can because of you guys. It's not just the YouTubers, it's not just the Sound of Alls and the Baker Bay Best and the Hurt Two Wheels, it's everybody. We're grateful for what they do. They've brought us all together, and that's amazing to have such com camaraderie. Um, I got like, like 400 new friends. <laughs> I, I consider you guys my friend. If you guys consider me yours, can I get an amen? Amen! Yeah. Let's have some fun, guys. Let's have some fun. Thank you. One, one more thing, guys, and you can. And thanks for everybody who joined in on the live stream. Appreciate you, Jeff. Um, but I'm sure my phone's about to die, and I might just leave it dead for the rest of the camp. Out. <laughs> so a, fit, a fitting end to my phone while I hang out with you guys. So uh, what I'd like to do is, if there's anybody else there, and I know there's a lot of other content creators out there um, who I, I really love, who I didn't get to grab before I came up here. There's a lot of people out here who have done so much, have donated thousands of dollars. Who don't have an Instagram or a Facebook? My man, dude. There, there's, there's my favorite person here right now. <laughs> hey, Judge, you got competition. <laughs> but right now, you're my favorite. What I would like to do, uh, what I'd really like to do right now, don't feel like you have to. But if anybody else would like to come up here and say a few words about how this has affected you, about where you've come from, uh, about your life, about anything that maybe that you feel that you would like to say to everyone right now while we have everybody here. I would like to invite anybody who would like to come up here. There's a lot of people here right now, so we can't, you can't talk as long as I do, because I, <laughs> I talk forever. But if you want, walk right over here, please don't fall off the stage. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let Shay come up here and say something first. Come on up, babe, come on. You wanna say something? Come on up, baby. She's here. But I'll, <laughs> But I want to, I want to, I want to put that invite out there. If you would like to come up here and say a few words, and certainly I would encourage you. And even if that word is just, I'm happy to be here. I still want to hear it. I want to hear from everybody because this is not about me. 
but Corey, I see you. I'd like you to come up here and say something too. <laughs> Don't you ain't getting away, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Go over there. You're saying something. Yeah, Corey. He's been to all the camp ads, too. Don't let him get yes. out of here. Saddle tramp, man. Saddle Keep it up. Tramp. But I want to open that up. <laughs> I want to open that up to anybody because, as uh, as David pointed out, it's not, oh, yeah, YouTube, big deal. Who cares? It doesn't matter. We're all here drinking beer. We're all having a good time. Everybody gets a chance to talk and, t and talk about how this has affected them. And if you just want to stand down there and not say anything, that's cool, too. <laughs> with Jared Weem. I'm not going to start at my childhood like Josh did. I wasn't here for that, but I'm assuming that's where it started. <laughs> so I'm just going to move fast where all you guys know, which this all started with Jared Weems. And at that time, I was going to college pretty aimlessly with no direction. Um, I thought that the only way that I could help people in this world was through becoming a mental health therapist and using the direct path that my parents told me that I needed to do to succeed and to help people. And then through David and Cindy and Jared Weems and Josh, I've seen there's so many different ways to help people than just the standard way that a lot of people have been told that you have to help people. And there's so many ways that you can help your community through reaching out in such tiny ways. Every single person being here is supporting your community and specifically the Tampa Bay community here. And that means so incredibly much to me that all of you would come here and support this community. Like. Give it up for yourself, seriously. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo and also, as you know, we are giving away the raffle vehicles that y'all showed up here for, but we will also be giving away a gold wing. Yeah! Yeah! That one right there. No purchase necessary. What a uh, year is it? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So if you could figure out the year, <laughs> That'd be great. So I could just announce it. Yeah, everybody, everybody, look. Every, nobody panic though. It's okay. <laughs> so to give away this gold wing, we will be giving away raffle tickets here, physical raffle tickets that you can come and get from me. And although I might not remember all of your names, I will always remember a face. So if you come up twice and get two raffle tickets, not only will I know but karma will know. Oh, she's a bitch. And not only do you not want to fuck with me, you don't want to fuck with karma. Is there ain't much a nastier bitch than me and her, okay? So, so thank you all for being here. And I really do want to hear how this has affected every single person here and how being part of this community has affected you. I really do want to hear it. I'm gonna sit right there and drink my coffee and listen to whoever wants to come up. Go up there, yeah, get up there. We got a killer coming up, so be careful. <laughs> well, I'm killer. Uh, I don't know most of y'all. We're from Missouri. I've got a, a blog. I ain't intelligent enough to run a YouTube. I've got a blog. It's called it's WilliamKillerMiller.com, and you just go to Riding with Killer, and you'll see my aimless ramblings and pretty pictures of motorcycles and girls. Uh, back home in Missouri, we believe, and you can look at any benefit for anything: cancer, uh, kids, dogs, cats. Don't want to kick off the cat people. Uh, <laughs> things like that, you know, meow. Uh, things like that. Most of the people that are there, and you could be doing something as simple as raffling off a handgun or something. Not that I 
say anything about violence, but you know, people raffle off guns. Uh, you use them to hunt with. Uh, but most of the people that will give up money for things, whether it's in our society or in other people's society, or us, or motorcycle riders, normal person, what we call back home a citizen, Oh, well, you know, I got to worry about if I'm going to have this bill or that bill or if I can afford new rims for my truck or whatever. A motorcycle rider will be, hey, you know what? Here's the deal. I got a nick. I got a dime. Here's a nickel. Mm -hmm. You know what? We are. Y'all are. Y'all are. We are the last admirable society on the planet Earth. Yeah, we are there. We are there. Yeah. Come on up, boy. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm your sound man, but up, I don't even man? know if Dave knows. I, I was a foster parent for 14 years. I fostered 35 children in 14 years. I've adopted five children through the foster care system. Oh, yeah. And I'm currently still advocating for children as a guardian at litem. So what we do is advocate for these children that are in foster care to do what's best for them, not necessarily what their mother wants, their birth mothers, the foster parents. It's what's best for the children. I can tell you firsthand, I have two of my siblings who two of their siblings have aged out of the foster care system and they don't have a foster angel, uh, uh, a, a, a place like this to go to, forgotten angel. They don't have that. And so some of them have made some really bad decisions and ended up in some bad places. A lot of times when these children thought they age out of the foster care system, the day they turn 18, they're cut off. And if they're in a foster home and the foster home doesn't want to allow them to stay, they got to go. And, and then they're out on the streets. You know, we, we go down and feed the homeless and we meet foster children that have aged out and they're living on the streets, homeless. So greatly appreciate what Dave and Cindy are doing here uh, for all of these young men and, and young ladies that have aged out of the system. Uh, it, it's terrible, you know, that happens to them. But through you guys and what this, this event does twice a year now, it's a blessing to be here. So I go to church with Jared, and when I heard about the event, you know, I was like, what do you, what, what do you need? You know, I'll be there. And and I've been here. Well, I don't know exactly what to say because everything has already been said that I could possibly think of to say. But other than that, what's on my heart and mind is that, you know, this is the one place I would dare to ride such a distance from my house to come sleep on the ground. You know, you know what I'm saying? Amen. And Amen. On, on something that's such so, so sketchy, it's over 20 years old, you know, and, you know, but anyway, it's not about me. It's about the reason why coming. And as you guys know about what this organization is about, I mean, I would even venture to say it's more, more like a ministry than anything, you know. I mean, they may not call it that, but it's it's something that I think even the church ought to be involved in. But, that, right. but other than that, um, I had a, I had a pretty decent upbringing. I grew up, I had parents, but there's a lot of people, some of you probably didn't have a good upbringing, maybe you don't, didn't have a good father figure, or maybe you didn't have parents at all, but some of you did, okay? But nevertheless, the thought that uh, those of you who have been there, you know, definitely know what it's like to be without, and 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 the fact that you can actually put, you know, pay it forward in, in such a way that be that you've got yourself up, up off your feet. And I mean, this is a good thing, you know. And how simple more can it be than to just, like what Josh said, just tell somebody, you know, word of mouth, but buying a simple raffle ticket, not for the sake of trying to win something, but for the sake of knowing where it's going. You know, and even this is my third time here, and all three times, you know, I, I bought uh, 
you know, the, the what was it, five ticket package every time, even when I probably shouldn't have, you know, financially speaking. But hey, you know, I didn't go hungry. My lights didn't get turned off. And, you know, just, but it goes to something that's going to be a big impact for somebody in the long term who definitely has, you know, nothing, but you guys can give something by being a part of this. And it seems like this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year. I mean, I mean, it's like this. Check this out. Like th yesterday, I thought we'd leave the uh, dealership and skip the ride and get here in time to get a good camping spot, right? And then, then we showed up, right? And I said, when we got here, I said, oh my goodness, they beat us here, you know? So, <laughs> but it turns out, no, 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 no. They hadn't got here yet, but you guys, thank you so much for being here. I mean, it really means a lot to the kids. It means a lot to Dave and Cindy and, and Josh and, and everybody who's put, who's put forth the effort to make this happen. And hopefully it'll go on and on and on and on until, you know, who knows? Anyway, that's about all I got to say. And again, thank you so much for being here. It means a lot. This is crazy. Rainy Ryder, what's up, man? You gotta come up here and say something too, you know. David. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say, as soon as Josh saw me standing in line, he comes back, he goes, everybody's gotta keep it under a minute now. Because if there's anybody here at this camp out that can out talk him, it's me. <laughs> so, I didn't say that because of you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, I, I I do have one thing. I, I have one thing I really want to say. I um uh, I have I have I've been adopted twice. I I am the byproduct of someone who grew up without without parents, who 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 was raised and then like my mom my mom when I was eight years old met a guy on the internet and moved to Australia and just left me here. Me and my brother, my brother committed suicide. So it's like, it is not a good thing. I saw what Forgotten Angels was doing for these kids and it is exactly my story. David saw, saw these kids and he, well, adults, and he goes, I know what's gonna happen to these, these guys if they don't get the help that they, they need and that they deserve. Every single one of the boys that lives on this property has a, a heart of gold. They will give their life for you. Every single one of them. Andre, Tim, all of them. They're the greatest people in the universe. And they deserve what we're doing for them. Yeah. That's what I say. It's not about all of us. It's not about all of us. David will say that over and over again. He goes, it's about you. It's not. It's about these boys that live on this property. Yeah! <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Everybody, I'm nine mils on two wheels. I just come up to say, everybody, you're all family. Everybody, you know, takes care of everybody here. If you got problems, something broke down, just somebody's going to help you. This is a great place. I've been here. This is my third one also. I just, you know, and these, these people took me, and I've had a few problems. And uh, uh, without this family, I wouldn't be doing this. I just wanted to thank you all. Boom. Hey everybody, my name's Jordan. This is my first time here. I'm nobody important, trust me, I'm not. I just wanted to say, out of all the hobbies I've had, yes you are important. Yes. No, I'm not. Yes, you yeah, you are. are. <laughs> you're important to me, so you're important to them. Yeah. But out of all the hobbies I've had, we 
we get together, we have fundraisers and everything like that. And a lot of the time it's to put money back into a club or something like that, that I'm a member of. This is one of the few events that I come to that is charity. And like I said, this is my first time here. And I believe the biker community is the best community in the world because like the gentleman said earlier, if you meet a biker and you're broke down, he's going to do his best to try to help you. And I've been there and done that too. I've helped people off the side of the road and everything. So you all give yourselves a hand for helping out everybody. Hey everybody, my name is Jerry, and uh, my Instagram is Journey of Jerry. I met Shade Tree June 30th of last year, and this guy has literally just changed the way I feel. This, oh my gosh, when I think about Forgotten Angels, the amount of good that comes inside me, it overwhelms me. So, Josh. I, get, I made you these just for a couple little gifts, brother. You mean the world to me. We love you, now, brother. Jerry, Jerry, you're always here, man. Love hey. you, Jerry. <laughs> love you. We love you. Hey, now, this is not from me. This is from the Shade Tree Army. So if you're here, you all know what you did to help create this. You're a part of it. It's not from me. It's from all of us. Yeah. yeah. Woo. 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 Wow. What you got, my brother? I don't deserve such kindness in my life. Dude, you did this one too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my yeah. man. Come on, dude. Want to book it? I'm about, hey, here's here's this. It's got a couple things in it, but what I'm going to do is whoever whoever grabs from my hand first, can you go fill it up with yingling? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You film me. You film me, man. <laughs> Thank you, my man. That's so cool. Now, I remember that one video where you was in the, the garage and you was looking for that bottle opener. Huh? That'll never happen again. Oh God, you won't man. have to look, my friend. You're too much, man. Take that rap seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I love it, man. You know what I'd like to do? We can get a couple of temporary screws. Anyone who's got something to open, we'll stick it in there so anyone who wants to use it right now gets to use it. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I'm taking it with me when I leave, though. <laughs> that's pretty Woo. awesome. Man. This one is yours also. Come on, dude. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, man. You're the man. It's nothing but love, brother. I have, I have, a, wealth of, I have a wealth of friends. And if YouTube, has ever, if YouTube has ever done anything for me, it's given me a wealth of friends. I am rich with friends and people that I care about, and it makes me feel very, very good. Thank you. It, you know what? Just you can't, you the way you entertain us. Ah, come on, man. You're this, at the bar. This, <laughs> this is oh, a play. Oh, I see play. bar in there. Bar people on there. Come on, man. This is a play on sinners and saints. So each side, you have a shameful, and when you turn it around, you have a shameless. That's what I love, dude. That's what I always say. Shameful and shameless, man. That's us up here. Jerry, thank you so much. Let's kick that music up. Let's have a couple beers. We're going to figure out somebody's winning that bike and that red gold wing right there. Someone here is winning that bike. All right. Come on. Let's party. Right, we got a lot more gifts to give out, too. So everyone stay around. All right. Seven minutes left on the raffle. Seven minutes. Hey, Shay. Somebody Come grab a ticket. All right. Somebody talk me into a ticket. I'll go. I'll That's a wrap. Somebody around.